Hold this. Oh. It smells delicious. What is this? It's coffee. The difference in answering when you're sponsored versus when you're not sponsored. Right. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back. I just to the feel so alone in this world. Like everyone is so excited to grow up and stuff, and they're like, "Oh, my 50th birthday! Like, yay! Like, who do you know that's and 50?" I'm 22 and I feel old. Well, I'm sure a lot of people relate to you. I don't know, I'm the only one. We are rewatching Hot G Guy Thirst Traps today. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, I'm good. Let's do this. <laughs> I gotta say, I had the opposite reaction. <laughs> Welcome back you guys to part two of us reacting to straight boy TikTok. Just like last time, we're here to find out if sexuality is in fact a choice. If it was a choice, these thirst traps would have ended it for men a long time ago. Just like last time guys, we're just gonna be reacting to some straight boy thirst traps. I'm pretty sure that everybody that we're reacting to is straight. If any of them are like bisexual or something and I miss it, just comment down below. Pretty sure all of them use he, him pronouns from their profiles. But again, if one of them uses they, them, or she, her, also please correct me down below. Like we said last time, we're not here to shit on men. When have I ever done this ever on this channel? <laughs> we're here to give a little advice about the pizzazz of these videos. Constructive criticism, if you will. Constructive These thirst traps might be bad, but not all men make bad thirst traps. Just most. Just most. And I think <laughs> this is a good metaphor for other things in life. Mm-hmm. Like, please find the clitoris. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> we wanna see something that we wouldn't normally see in everyday life. Yeah. That's why women making thirst traps is so phenomenal. Men, however, haven't seemed to got the message. Haven't seemed, seem, have not. <laughs> haven't seemed to got the message. Haven't gotten the message. Haven't, it seems they haven't got the message. <laughs> you. <laughs> I really appreciate mm -hmm. that. <laughs> that was so funny. What did you say? <laughs> it seems they haven't got the message. We're gonna tell them the message. We're, <laughs> we're here to deliver them. And don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Me watching straight boy thirst traps, this is my cold exposure therapy. This is my morning, <laughs> this is my morning ice bath. First 10, 15, 30 seconds is hell. Yeah, yeah. hell. <laughs> but you sit there in the shock factor and you're better for it. Be honest, That's have you me. ever seen a man a man's thirst trap and taken tips? No. This is not the same. If I acted like a boy, I don't think I don't think girls would like me. My girlfriend <laughs> helped pick out a lot of these actually. Is your girlfriend in the room with us right now? <laughs> This is Jacob Day. Let's have a threesome, me, you, and the blunt. I love your titties because they prove I can focus on two things at once. Hold on, because I have to rewatch that to make sure his mouth is actually moving. Thirst trapping and opening your mouth don't have to be mutually exclusive. He's hot, but he's like... Jacob, you're a good looking guy, Jacob. You're hot. Why do you do this to yourself? Why? Don't try to make it look like you're not trying because you're already trying by posting the video. Exactly. Jake. So and open your mouth. Nice. Open your mouth. You move your mouth as little as possible. I'm gonna play the audio. Let's have a threesome, me, you, and the blunt. I love your titties because they prove I can focus on two things at once. Are we rating them? Do you want to? We can rate. Let me give you a seven. Four out of ten. A seven? I said four. You said, said seven. I said seven. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. Are you serious? Holy oh, shit. Are you serious? Okay, man, go off queen. No, I didn't. I meant four. I meant four. Did you just gaslight me? Yeah. <laughs> Every, I think everything is good minus the mouth. Like, that's literally the only thing. See, can I be honest? Yeah. I think that you're clouded right now. You specifically are a strong advocate for camera movements, for effort, for like even like a little zoom. This is just a static shot in the mirror. When it comes to lesbian thirst traps, I expect more. When it comes to men, I kind of expect this. He should have been doing a lot. I mean, but the thing is, is that everything, if you're gonna go into that detail, then- Everything's wrong about it. Like, what can you do with the phone with that song specifically? Like, there's nothing really, it's a fucking derogative song and he's talking about focusing on two things at once, he's looking at titties. 
Like, you can't be like, oh, I'm gonna look at your titties and like, put, like, have some titties in the video, you know, and like, have some zoom effects and stuff. Like, that's just not gonna work. So, like, he did, I mean, there's many things he could have done differently, yeah, but starting with the song. With the song he chose, that was his first mistake. And from there, he did exactly what he should have done with that song. So. Crazy. So many of the straight boy thirst traps, the boys give the energy of like, you just haven't had the right dick yet. Can I have a tangent for Why a second? Why is it always the men that say, you just haven't had the right pee pee yet? These are the same men that put no homo at the end of every single sentence. These are the same men that are so anti-PP for themselves. You think I'm gonna trust somebody that promotes a product that they haven't tried yet? It's always the people that are so anti-PP that are like, mm -hmm. if you just had, if you had mine, you haven't even tried it yourself. The fact that you call it PP, like, I have to protect them. I don't them. want your PP. I have to protect them. What if they think you're talking about piss? I am gonna get a flood of comments from people down below telling me thank you for protecting my ears. Thank you for not using that word. From what word? You know the word. Stop! Please! <laughs> this is the worst one. Like, Ew, the please! Worst. I'm being exercised! Please! <laughs> I know that's Josh Richards. Is it? I can tell one that. fine man. The fact that he had to make sure we knew it was just one fine man. Like he's straight. No homo. One? There's just one of us. Boom, boom, boom. You look lonely. Boom, boom. I can fix that. Let me let me think of something. Let's do let's do a compliment sandwich. Mr. Fine, you have really nice hair. It looks very soft. But you could have definitely styled it way differently. <clears throat> Did you just get a <laughs> There was simply no flavor. There was no flavor in this. Justin Bieber called and he wants his flip back. That's what I'm gonna say. You know. <laughs> Listen, there's not much to say about this because there's not much that was given out of this. You know, but at the same time, we have to look at this and- How well did this video do? I have no idea. My girlfriend like scouted these for me. Okay, if it did good- And said, Y'all look look at me as an object, fine. Here I am. We have the same mole. Wait, if he's a fine man, look. We all three, we must be citizens. I don't know how old this kid is. He, he looks, looks like a, he looks like a sweetheart. This one you're not ready for because it's gonna be. Are you gonna be okay? Mm, okay. How's your mental state today? Well, I woke up this morning and I was questioning my whole life because Perfect. I was like- Perfect. Ugh, why? I'm so mad right now. Cause the beginning was great. Like Ugh. it comes in- Compliment he, sandwich. He looks good. <laughs> he looks good. The phone, it's hot. And then the most abrupt ab picture. Absolutely not. The worst part about it all is, is that you take this beautiful specimen, like he's a very good guy. He has guy. really good eyes, nice body, beautiful hair, beautiful hair, nice great eyes bone and skin, structure. like gorgeous man. And then, but he doesn't know what to do with it. And the worst part is, is you thought he did when he was matching up with the music. Made Those me, nibbles are staring right at me. <laughs> no, literally, because <laughs> this made me think, but if he would have just like, sat in a chair and been like looking like cool and laid back with his abs it would have been so hot subtle but relaxed, instead he felt sensitive soft he said suggested. oh you like my face oh throws you into an uncle it's like if situation. you're like flirting with somebody and they say the thing you were hinting the at. best example that i can think of right now if christian gray took anastasia into the red room and instead of blindfolding her just like showed her a tool and said I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do this, 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 and instead this of both of them him. understanding the suggestion. Yeah. He over explains it. It's also giving, like, whenever you're hanging out with someone on a date or something and you, like, go back to their place and you, like, kiss for two seconds and you're clearly into it, then he's like, okay, great, let me. Because yes, you're clearly literally, it's like into it. Chill out. Oh. Actually, I have requested a couple of Noah Beck videos. Makila's obsessed with Noah Beck. She thinks he's so I handsome. I love Noah Beck. I think he's so pretty. Not as pretty as Tom Willie. Don't you want to hug Noah Beck? Wow, his personality, his online personality is really working. Oh, what if he's a complete oh dick in life, real life? You should never <laughs> meet your heroes. 
a little context if you care to listen about me self in a ship position. <laughs> Sat me down last night and he told me that it's over. Dumb decision. And I don't want to feel, I don't know, other stuff. I always advocate for learning the words before. Oh, but he did open his mouth. True. Okay, compliment sandwich. You have great style. You're very attractive. You seem sweet, I guess. You have great hair. You want to, you like him more. Go I'll go. Me. I can do this one. Noah, you have really cute. Why am I flirting with you? Yeah, the lack of effort is really getting to you. I don't feel it, girl. It's okay. It's okay. Like, please, like, give me some dim lighting, eye contact, okay? I need a slow zoom. Okay, and I need some CGI in there. If you're feeling this neglected just watching Men Thirst Trap, imagine being in a relationship with one. Hey guys, super quick. This next Thirst Trap that, thirst trap that we're reacting to, we're also reacting to the cancellation of this guy. It does involve some domestic violence stuff, so if that's something that you're sensitive to, then I would recommend skipping to the timestamp 1414. Put that up on the screen. We don't go super into depth about anything, but he was essentially canceled over making jokes out of beating his partner. So if you're sensitive to that, skip forward. Do you want to jump into Kevin stuff? Yeah, y'all know strange Kevin or whatever the fuck. From the minute I saw him, I said- From the minute we freaking. saw him. We were both like, why are people obsessed with him? He is freaking me out. So if you energy. guys don't know what the Kevin thing is, basically people on TikTok were freaking out because they were like, oh my God, this guy has the female gaze down. The male gaze in opposition to that is essentially things men find traditionally attractive. The guy that's like shredded, right. that's the male gaze on a man. Like that's what men want to look like. Kevin being the female gaze, everybody was saying that like, this is what we want men to look like. Like this is what we find attractive. I think the internet was pretty split because half the internet, the lesbian half, was like, <laughs> are y'all serious? There's just some people that you look at and you wouldn't let them babysit your kids. <laughs> Should I cut that? The only reason that I say this, dead eyes, and the stash. This stash is literally in history, like the pedo stash. Yes, it is. But then you see, you go back in his profile and you see a bunch of videos where he's making jokes about like abusing his girlfriend. Exactly. And stuff. These were vulgar jokes, jokes about like beating his partners until they bled, mm -hmm. shit like that. I think there was more, but I'm not sure. The only stuff I saw with my own eyes was the domestic violence stuff. His account is banned now. And I guarantee a lesbian was watching all these girls thirst over him and was like, what the fuck is going it on? It was me. Scroll. I was the lesbian. <laughs> it was me. So basically he would do this thing where he was trying to show how confidence makes you hotter. Mm, agree. Mm -hmm. So he would do this thing where he would sing a song and he would act super nervous and then he would like dead stare at the camera. To my lesbian audience, my oh. friends, my people, I'm sorry for what I'm about to show you. I know this is gonna make a lot of you really uncomfortable. And if you seek, um, if you need help after seeing this video, you can DM me. That was really thoughtful of you. I know, like, especially if you're a mask, so, like, I'm here for you. I don't think we need to compliment sandwich him. We only make sandwiches for men that don't beat women. Period. Yeah, that's the only men we're making our sandwich yeah, for. You, if you beat a woman, you're no a sandwich. You're a dumb bitch. So, and you won't get a sandwich. You wanna no beat sandwich. me? Oh, I'm a woman. Do you wanna beat me? Talking body. You got a perfect one, so put it on me. Swear it won't take you long if you love me right. We in for life. Um, <laughs> we want to see that. Open your mouth to talk about the female gaze. A demon in hell gets its horns. <laughs> That's not a thirst trap. Like, Ladies, ever what the fuck? Maybe, maybe the male gaze is underrated. Maybe we should just stick to male traditions. <laughs> There's not much to say. I'm I'm glad that no more women were hurt but, that TikTok actually handled his account. Are we gonna like like talk about the thirst trap, like take aside the person and like critique the thirst trap? I don't think I believe in separating the art from the artist. It's just my personal conviction. My constructive criticism for Kevin is don't beat your girlfriend. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want us to do a part three of this video, make sure you comment down below. Comment, comment any critiques that you have for these guys. Love you guys so much. Make sure that you like this video. Subscribe down below. Check out my podcast, Chosen Family Podcast. Check out Mattia's YouTube channel, at Mattia Injimi. She posts videos all the time. She just finished Vlogmas, so there's lots of content for you to catch up on. Anything else? No, that's all. Love you guys. Thank Peace. Thank you for shouting me out. You literally never shout me out. Also, I'm still doing Vlogmas. I didn't know it was over on after Vlogmas. <laughs>